today we've arrived here to do a live recording of the travelling band using the Sapphire Pro 24 DSP. They're a five piece band. We've got two guitars, a banjo, three vocalists, and a bass player. We've also brought along um, an Octopre Mark II Dynamic, which has got eight more preamps, which we can feed into the Sapphire Pro 24 DSP via light pipe. The monitoring options on the Sapphire Pro 24 are really good because you've got two headphone outputs, each with a dedicated volume control. Ian, who's the Pro Tools engineer, can set the levels and make sure nothing's coming in too hot or cold. And I can go along, listen to my headphones on an extension lead and just be tweaking, tweaking mics to get the best sound that we possibly can in the room. We've got the two acoustic guitars on, some condensers and the banjo on a, on a very close dynamic mic and then all the vocalists are on SM58s. With so much going on in the room, um, we made the compromise to put them on dynamic mics just so that we get a bit less spill on their vocals. Another unique thing about this is it's got input effects. So what I can do is apply compression and EQ to whatever the, the input source is here without putting any strain on my CPU because it's all processed through the DSP chip on the unit. You can switch those on and if you just want to take a little notch out of the baseline on the way in without having to load up plugins afterwards, then you can. It's, it's a nice thing to be able to do, in, in, especially in a live recording environment. Another thing with the built-in DSP, when we do the overdubs, we can send the, uh, the artists their own custom mixes using the second headphone output, but also that mix that they get will be very low latency. You just say one, two in the mic. You can hear yourself? Uh, that's fine. Yeah. It's good, yeah. You're going to stick a bit of reverb on? Yeah. You want, you want more reverb, less reverb? Maybe go a little bit less. Yeah. One of the unique features about this product is got the VRM on it, virtual reference monitoring. VRM emulates different listening environments and different monitors, reference monitors like these, through headphones. So if you change the listening environment, go to a bedroom studio, and then go to the speaker selection and go to computer desktop. Can you hear that? That's that sounds thing. quite tinny. <laughs> With the two headphone outputs and the VRM technology built into the Pro 24 DSP, Ian's going to be able to sit down with, with members of the band and allow them to check the mix on different systems so you don't have to burn a, a CD off and go and put, play it through the stereo in the kitchen or through the hi-fi in the lounge. You can just listen to it all, all through headphones in these different virtual monitoring environments. You can see how it gives you a, a cross-reference that you wouldn't get unless you owned a couple That's of pretty smart, that. really decent pairs of monitors. That's pretty good for, for what we do because we're always mixing on the road where you just use it. That's one of the upsides to VRM. Mm -hmm. 